This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to if you want to set up your own slick looking website or online store. Now, as you may have seen in the recent few videos, they all look kind of the same because they were shot at the same time at the same place. I was using this brand new bag from Billingham. The pencil upside down or something. I, I mixed up left and right, I think. Now now it's like, oh, this is very, very I, I meant it. It's very <laughs> special. Upside down shots. Angle. While Locke's Thanks. doing that, let me show you something special. Got a brand new bag. It's so new, it's still got the tags on it. Of course, people already do that in China. <laughs> For decades. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, building a bag. Mini Venter. It's like the Venter, but mini. Mini Venter. Ooh. Yes, it's the Mini Aventa, so called cool because it's the minified version of the Aventa bag from Billingham. And you're probably thinking, what's the Aventa bag from Billingham? It's this one. What does the Aventa mean? So it's I... only, you use it only for events? Events. It's my wedding, it's my birthday, for Christmas. For wedding photographers. Oh yeah, that too. I don't know. <laughs> what does a Hadley mean? It's... it's just a name. Yeah, exactly. Totally understandable if you don't know about event bags because, well, I don't think I've actually seen anybody using one. But if you're going for Billingham, you're probably going to go for Hadley, right? It's the first place you look at and probably bag you end up walking home with because it is quite simply their most appealing product. When the Venter first came out, I found it quite appealing because it's just that little bit different to the Hadleys and everybody's using Hadleys these days. The only problem is it's a bit pricier. And it sort of looks like a bag that you might take to the office. The Mini 5 version hasn't really lost any of that businessy kind of styling. And I guess a lot of that is down to the leather down here. Yes, indeed, like a cow, it has a leather bottom, but it doesn't just contribute to the looks. It does make it look quite a bit posher, but also for practicality, because the bottom bit is where a lot of chafing happens, which can be problematic if its bottom is just made of canvas. I think this is this is quite a new colour as well. I don't really see yeah. too many Billinghams in this this kind of blue. It's quite fetching actually. Check that out. I don't know what kind of blue, royal blue, but it's very nice. I think they call it navy blue. Navy blue. Okay. I thought navy was a bit darker than this, <laughs> but there you go. Navy blue. So I've got this one in navy canvas, which I think looks pretty cool, contrasting with the brown leather, the tan straps and the brass rivets and buckles. I mean, usually when you're talking about Billingham's, they usually come in the tan, khaki, whatever you call it, black or green, olive. And this one is a bit of a special one. This one was made just for me by Billingham. Thank you very much. I worry that when I wear this bag, it's gonna make me look like I'm a, a schoolboy. I don't know, Hong Kong doesn't have such good looking uh, school bag. I think it's mainly I'm, Japan. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure about UK. Maybe UK is very... Mm, yeah. But it seems more like a Japanese school. And you have a little hat as well. <laughs> Although in this colorway, it does make it look like a posh school bag. But another thing about this that makes it different from the Hadley is zip. Which I don't really go for with a camera bag. But it's got one. And you can see it's like those weather sealed ones. I mean, I don't really tend to go for zips on camera bags because it takes a bit longer to open your bag, especially when you've got a flap as well. You've got the flap and then you have to open the zip. And also some people might think it might scratch your camera. It's a waterproof, well, not waterproof, rainproof zip, yeah. but you still have to remember to zip it up if, it's, if it rains. I like the shape of the Venter bag. It's got a removable insert, of course. And I've talked about it with Locke. When you remove the insert, it still keeps a nice shape, which makes it a nice bag, even if you're not using it for your camera gear. See, keeps a nice shape. But I mean, they all look like they can be as a everyday leisure bag, but this is, I think the mini eventer slightly tend to leisure more than a uh, Hadley. I think so. And maybe, that's, maybe that makes sense that they've offered this in, I don't know if they offer it in more colors, but this is quite a, uh, you know, it's a bit more casual, isn't it? And you can take out the insert, because I'm doing this as well. I, yeah. I took out the insert and then just use it as an everyday bag. And it stays the shape better. Yeah. Because it's like all round. When you do that with Hadley's, it just kind of ends up like that. 
that. I mean, even this, I mean, this had the one when you open it, it's like, oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Look at that, it's like, oh. I mean, a lot of people don't mind this, but I kind of, oh, I hope it stays yeah. the shape rather than, oh. The zip doesn't have to be a big problem because you can just leave it unzipped when you're out shooting so that when you unbuckle it, it's just like Hadley. You just open it like that. When you're finished, you can just zip it up like that. So you have two steps of protection from the thieving scum. So they have to do that and then unzip your bag before they can nab your gear. Thief proof design. No, well, nothing really is thief proof, is it? You know, you, you could probably get David Blaine and he'll, you know, he's like stealing your watch, like shaking your hands and, oh, ha ha, I got your watch. He'll be like, hey, pleased to meet you. And he'll be like touching you all over, like, oh, pleased to meet you. And then he's got your camera in his hand all of a sudden. So nothing Just is thief proof. Cut it open. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Cut, cut your hands off. Or cut the straps, isn't it? Enough of the advice about how to steal someone's bag. But a nice little touch is that on the insert here, you've got a little flap. So it kind of protects the zip from scratching anything that might be in the corner of your bag here. In terms of size, it's kind of halfway between a 2020 Hadley and the Mini. What can you fit? There we go, Siri anamorphic lens, Nikon Z6 with a big fat 35 lens on. Oh, and you see a slot here. That's for an iPad. iPad Pro 11 inch, which I've got. Like so. Okay, and the front pockets, you know, they're good for filters, SD card cases, color checker, or ZV-1 vlogging camera, fits in like that, but it's not expandable like on the Hadleys. Doesn't have that expandable popper there. But even without that, it's still quite wide. You can fit an iPhone sideways, which you can't do with the mini Hadley, unless you expand it. Only the Hadley 2020, you can put it in sideways without expanding it. But I think it's, it packs quite a bit. And that's with front pockets fully laden with stuff. Oh, okay. Straps don't quite make it. Oh, it's like when you go to a buffet, you need to unbuckle your belt one notch or two, I think it's just one notch. One notch will do it here. Let's try it, let's try that out. There you go. What else? On the back, document pocket. Oh, got something in there already. Tripod, okay. fits in neatly like so. That zip is weather sealed as well. And also on the back, we've got this here. When you're traveling with your suitcase, you can just slot it in like that. Yeah, so there we are, the new Mini Venter. It does cost a little bit more than you had, and that's because you get more leather, a posher looking bag with a slightly posher price. And oh, by the way, if you want to start up your own website or online store, link is down below for Squarespace. You should check them out. There's a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first order. Why use Squarespace? Because they're really easy to use and start making beautiful websites with. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service, you can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code.